Hello friends, welcome back to Digitalk. In this session, I am going to show you how we can configure the heap size for the managed servers from the remote console. So in 14.12 version of WebLogic, now we have the WebLogic remote console tool, okay? And there are a lot of uh, interfaces or there are a lot of options that has been changed in comparison with the traditional admin console that we have till the 14.11 version of the WebLogic, okay? So this is one of the change in specifically in terms of the uh, changing the uh, some JVM parameters for your uh, managed servers, okay? So till 14.11, we have a start server option in the uh, WebLogic server, right? When we log into admin console, and when we click on the manage server name, after that, we get an option for in, inside the configurations for the start, uh, server start, right? And in server start, we have option for arguments. And inside the arguments, we set the different kind of arguments, whatever we want to uh, configure for our manage server. So what happened in that case, whenever we start our uh, manage servers from the admin console, it always use the take the help of node manager, right? And it doesn't use the standard script that is uh, we come with the weblogic, for example, uh, start managed weblogic.sh or the CMD, which is the command we uh, utility to start the managed server. But when we start the managed server from the admin console, it doesn't use that particular script. Okay, so how it works, uh, let me quickly explain you uh, when we start the managed server from the console, then how it works. Okay, and then I will show you how to configure that and now where is the option so when we uh, start uh, our um, manage servers from the admin console then it read the node manager dot properties file first okay and what is the location of node manager dot properties file inside the domain uh, we call it as a node manager home so inside the domain uh, you can go to node manager and inside the node manager you will have a file called node manager dot properties file Right. So here we have a different kind of a parameter that is get reflected for your node manager. Now, one of the important parameters specifically related to the startup of your uh, managed servers is this is the startup script enabled. Weblogic.startup script enable equal to true. So when it is true, but which is by default, okay, startup script enable true, that it is going to use start weblogic.sh or start weblogic.cmd for the windows. So this is the true. And if it is true, it is going to use this particular script, which is the start script name, which is start weblogic.sh. That, that means when we start our uh, managed servers from the admin console, it always use the same script that is used to start the admin server. The only difference is that the command is phrased in a different way because it is going to start the managed server using the same particular script, right? So now if we starting the managed server from the console and it is going to use the same script that we use to start the admin server. So that means the standard script that we have to start the managed server, which is the start managed weblogic.cmd or sh in the Linux, it is not going to use. So if you are going to change any of the parameter in this file, Okay, for example, JVM parameter or any other uh, memory parameter or any other related JVM parameter you are going to change in this file and you are starting your managed server from the admin console, it will not reflect it. Okay, so it is always recommended when you uh, when you use the node manager to start your uh, uh, managed servers. So the parameters either you can define in set domain env file. This is a set domain env file. Right, because this script is called in your start weblogic.sh script. Okay, so that means whatever the way you are going to start your managed server, this script will always called. So for that, you need to define the argument in this file, which is a set domain env. Otherwise, the other easy way you can directly define the JVM parameter for the managed server from the admin console, which is now the remote console tool. Okay, which will auto, will be configured. So let me first show you and then I will show you where exactly the configuration saved for that and which uh, properties file your node manager will uh, uh, will use when you start the managed server from console. So let me log into first my uh, domain. So this is my domain. So this first one on the left hand side on the tree. Okay, this is your edit tree, which we use to edit the uh, domain configuration. And then we have the configuration view tree, and then we have the monitoring tree. So we have a different kind of a views are here. So now if you wanted to uh, check the status of your servers, or you want to start stop your servers, for that you have to go to your monitoring tree. Okay, inside the monitoring tree, click on the environments, servers. Okay, so here you can see the check the status of the server. So I have one admin server is running, and along with that two managed servers are running. Right. Now, if you would like to check the uh, current uh, heap utilization of your servers, 
So for that, inside same servers option, you will see the JVM runtime. Click on JVM runtime. And here you can see the heap configuration. What is the heap configuration for this one? Current, what is the heap current? What is the heap free percentage? Heap size current and what is the maximum heap size that is defined for your server here? So you can see all this configuration here, which is inside the JVM runtime. Right. So here you can see the configuration of the JVM. The maximum heap size is defined as around 512 uh, MB in the round off. Okay. And this is the same configuration that is there in the set domain ENB. So if I open this file, okay, and if I search for uh, 512, okay, so here you can see the memory argument defined as 512, okay, and the same is reflecting for your servers, right? So here, because this set domain NV is called for each and every server, okay, so here you can see the heap size is somewhere around same 512 MB, right? So now uh, if I click on the server here, okay, you can see the different parameters that we have configured for the servers. Now, if you want to change any of the parameters, for example, we would like to add the memories uh, for the, or heap size for the managed server from the console. So for that, you have to go to this edit tree option. So inside the edit tree, again, click on in environments and then, then servers. So here you can see the, we have two servers, right? And here you can't able to see the status because this is a configuration tree. So let me click on manage server one. It will open all of the configuration screen of your managed server, just like we see in the traditional uh, admin console. Okay, but there are a lot of options that has been changed here specifically in terms of the different tabs that we have. Okay. Now, if you want to change the heap size for your managed server from the console, so now instead of a star, server start option, you have to go to advanced tab. Inside the advanced tab, you will have a multiple parameters are here. So now we have the option called node manager. Okay, so now start server tab has been renamed as node manager. Why it is renamed as node manager? Because this is specifically related to the node manager. So whatever the configuration we are going to specify here, it will be used by node manager to start your managed server. And that's why now it is node manager. Okay, so this is the argument section. So whatever the argument that you want to specify for your node manager, we specify here. Okay, after that we save and we restart the server and the things will get reflected. So now suppose that if I mention here uh, hyphen X MS minimum size I'm defining, okay, 1024 MB and space and then hyphen X MX, that means the maximum heap size I'm going to define the same, which is 1024 MB. Right. So I have given the minimum and maximum heap size as 1024. So by default, I have shown to you in the file, it is 512. Right. Now I have changed it for the 1024. That is specifically for the managed server one only. Right. So after that, I can click on save. And once your configuration is saved, the other important step you have to follow, you have to click on this cart and you have to click on commit changes. If you will not do the commit changes, then your changes will get lost. So click on commit changes. You can see now the changes have been committed okay so what we have done we have configured the heap size for the managed server one as 1024 from the default which was 512 right so now we need to restart our servers okay and so for that we have to go to the monitoring tree environments servers you can click on server you can first shut down the server let me click on four shutdown so whenever you do any activity you can see here a corresponding task is created in the console if you want to see the corresponding task and the status, then you can go to dashboard option. So inside this dashboard option, we have a server task options. Okay, here for each and every task uh, operation that you're doing, a task will be created and the corresponding status or progress you can monitor here. Okay, this is inside the dashboard option, right? So now let me go to the servers tab here. Okay, so now server is uh, unreachable, it is not uh, running, right? So now let me start it. Okay, so task has been created for starting the server. So now what will happen? We have configured the custom heap size from the console under the node manager option for inside the arguments, which is now 1024 MB for manager server 1. Okay, so now let me show you one more thing. So when we uh, start the manager server with the help of node manager, okay, then it use a file, which is a startup.script. And what is the location? You can go to the domain and then go to their servers folder 
inside the servers folder we have changed it for the manage server one so click on manage server one then click on your data and then node manager so here once you reach here you can see the boot dot properties file that is used by your node manager to start your manage server they here are different uh, state file for your manage server which your node manager use to automatically check the status of your servers and automatically restart so here we have a file called startup.properties right so this startup.properties is used by your node manager when it is start the manage server okay when we start the manage server from the console so now here you can see the argument that we have configured for our manage server is 1024 for the manage server and now this is reflecting in the startup.properties file of this particular manage server and if i go to the uh, manage server 2 then you will not see this because we have not configured this parameter for the manage server now you can see here we don't have any uh, arguments uh, parameter for the jvm right because we have only configured it for the manage server one and that's why we can able to see it in the startup.properties file of manage server one then so we have done the changes uh, for the manage server one from the console and we have restarted right and now if i go back and now if if i want to monitor what is the uh, the current heap size maximum heap size that we have defined if it is reflecting or not so you can uh, go to same monitoring tree and then server and click on jvm runtime right so now here you can see okay let me click on servers and then monitoring tree expand it jvm jvm runtime so here you can see the size is reflecting right what we have configured from the console and now for other it is different right because we have changed it only for the manage server one so this is the way how you can change yeah, the the JVM parameters for a particular manage server from the console and let me again show you so we were inside the configuration tree then servers then click on manage server then here you can click on the advanced option okay inside the advanced option you have to go to node manager and here inside the argument you have to add whatever the argument that you wanted to have for your manage server thank you